Um, iOS uh, and iTunes and the Apple App Store got hit. Uh, what was interesting was the way this was discovered that I haven't heard anyone talk about. And that is that uh, there was a, a sort of a modest developer who, uh, whose, whose handle was, is real PG. And they were just experimenting with an app, a very simple iOS app that had no internet functionality, didn't use the iCloud a APIs, um, and, and was just sort of like a little starter app for iOS using, of course, the Xcode toolkit, which is so, sort of the, the, the whole tool chain that Apple makes available for developing apps. And as you guys mentioned on Mac Break Weekly, or as, as, as uh, Renee was able to fill in uh, the details, the problem in China is that obtaining those libraries from Apple, for whatever reason, is really slow. And I, I have seen that said many times. So many um, Chinese developers get them from a local server. And in fact, in this case, it was... Uh, 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 Baidu that is a you know has a good reputation. I uh, uh, you know it may, they're a major Chinese internet company, and so they were offering the X code tool chain. Now Apple has measures to detect tampering, and the developer would have had to have those. All the developers would have had to turn that off in order to not to be notified that there was a problem. But I'm not deep enough into this to know whether there's, like, if there would have been other reasons to turn that off, like maybe it, there, there are other restrictions that that creates. But what this guy, this real PG um, uh, a Chinese developer found, was that although their code had no iCloud APIs and was not doing anything on the Internet, they were their code was popping up a dialogue asking for the iCloud password, and so they said, "Wait, uh, we don't we don't want that. Who who's asking for that?" And then they they uh, and they used a an iPhone that they use for development, which allowed them to verify connectivity, and they found inter uh, that there was a conversation with a remote command and control server happening with when their program was being run. So that immediately told them that something fishy was here. Now we know that that um, I saw a number of as high as 300 uh, apps, Chinese apps, got into the, the app store um, Palo Alto Networks here uh, in the States identified 39 different infected apps, um, and uh, among them was WeChat, which is, you know, super popular. So you, you do have to wonder how a high-profile, you know, high-end app like WeChat could have been compiled with sort of secondhand tools, you know, like, I, but I guess that's just, you know, no one was presuming that that these that that the Apple tool chain could have a problem. Although it also required disabling this notification that would have let people know that there was something fraudulent about uh, the tool chain. So, anyway, uh, all of the apps that are sub that were um, that were affected have been removed. And of course, the problem now is that the word may not have gotten. You know, these were some of them were 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 apps specifically planted to be downloaded and and to be um, uh, you know to 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 be sort of like phishing apps. WeChat would of course immediately fix their problem and push out an update and and update all their users. There are many of these others that. You know, don't want to update anybody. They want the you the people to continue using this bogus app because it it does have uh, remote access capabilities. 